We are in Fargo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> say hi to the camera. Oh. Ben, say hi to the camera. Hello. Say hello to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're in Fargo right now. We're uh, stopping them at a high hop before we go to Minneapolis. It was a pretty decent drive. I didn't really film anything in Winnipeg because it was like two in the morning. So yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? So I didn't really get to film much from Minneapolis. I was gonna film some stuff from Al Albertsville, but I didn't want to bring the camera. I was gonna. I went to Mall of America and didn't bring the camera either. So right now it's like 12:45 at night, and we're we're downtown Minneapolis. And uh, if you can just pan for that, and we got some cop cars here. It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, it's really nice here. Um, we were trying to look for a place to eat, so I tried to ask like random pedestrians as to what the good places would be, and we ended up running into a guy who pretty much escorted us, I guess you could say, to the a good spot to eat at night, and uh, it was probably the best time I've had in oh. Minneapolis because it was so random. Um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not Chinese, but... Japanese. <laughs> or I'm not Japanese, whatever. Yeah, the guy just said Kenichi wants to be, I don't know what the fuck that was about. And right now I'm at the Target Center. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say right now, but I will make another video. So yeah. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Go Net. Back at you with another pickup video. Uh, sorry it took so long for the video to be uploaded. It was just I had a lot of stuff to do. I was busy with a lot of things. I was waiting for a lot of uh, hats to get in the mail, and uh, I did a couple of trades, and I just didn't really want to show a little bit since I kept you guys waiting for so long. But uh, yeah, I just want to make a quick shout out to CVS as usual, you know, uh, the usual people doing it, doing it big, Iceman 289, Soul Food SF, Sickle 619. I see, I see Sickle 619 a lot because we live in the same city and I see him a lot at the thrift store that he works at. So uh, shout out to you, Sickle, to, uh, you know, hook me up on certain jerseys that you see at the store, so I appreciate that. And uh, fortunately, my brother was actually at the thrift today and picked up a pretty nice, uh, snapback that I'm going to be showing in the pickup video. So, uh, sorry Psycho, he uh, wants to keep the snaps, so can't really do anything about it. But anyways, uh, I have some, some announcements to make. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, snapback giveaway. And again, idea was uh, courtesy of Psycho. And uh, I'm, I'll, I'll make another video about that. Um, just explain the rules and uh, how many subscribers I want to reach first before I actually give away the hat. So, uh, yeah, and also I might be slimming down on pickups as far as quantity just because thrifts have been kind of dry and uh, it seems like it's getting harder and harder to get uh, good clothes and good snaps lately. So, uh, I'm going to try my best. So, yeah, just here comes the pickups. Alright, hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I got a lot of good heat today. Uh, past couple weeks or whatever have been really good to me as far as clothes. Actually, as far as clothes, hats, and shoes. So, yeah, we'll just get started right now. Uh, first pickup isn't really vintage. Just thought it was cool. I thought it was kind of random to see this at the thrift, but it's a uh, Taylor Gang All Star hoodie. It's like an olive green. Doesn't really look like it in the the video that you see. Looks more gray. But uh, yeah. I still fuck with Wiz Khalifa, still think his music's pretty good. Other than his actual album, which is kind of blue for me, but uh, yeah, really like the city. Next, we're going into the shirts. First up is a Manitoba Moose t-shirt. It's like the Heather Gray kind of colorway. It's uh, made by Fruit of Loom, size large. Really clean. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people pick up Minnesota Moose uh, t-shirts and hats and stuff and uh, I don't really know who got the logo first or if they shared it or whatever but uh, still a dope logo regardless. Next up is a uh, Arizona Diamondbacks t-shirt. It's 2001 World Series Champions. 
Um, I think my brother picked this one up. I've seen this one at the thrift a lot, and uh, it actually is pretty nice. It's size large, made by Tel Delta Pro Weight. Next, uh, San Jose Sharks t-shirt. says uh, blade on it. It has a nice kind of rainbow color there with the uh, roller blades on the bottom. Really clean t-shirt. I like this one a lot. This is made by... Made by... Oh, fuck. Spartacus Athletic Wear. Pretty sick. Next, Anaheim D Mighty Ducks t-shirt. Yeah, you know, you know how it is with the Mighty Ducks shirts, or any Mighty Ducks merchandise in general. Always dope colorways. Made by Athletic Soft Software Canada, size medium. Next is this uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers like Daffy Duck T-shirt. Says, "Don't ruffle my feathers." Got him wearing the Blue Bombers jersey there. It's a pretty sweet shirt. Haven't seen anything like this. Next, you know I always gotta have my Ralph Lauren pickups here. I got this in uh, Minneapolis. It's a rugby shirt. Got this for like five bucks. It's pretty sick. Size large. Nice colorway. Next we're going on to the crew necks. And this one is Georgetown Hoyas crew neck. Super clean. It's pretty much brand new. No cracking or anything. Really nice. It's made by a uh, pro player, size uh, size large. Next, Los Angeles Kings crew neck. Got this in a trade with my friend Mana. Super clean. Made by Russell Athletics. It's a size XL, but it fits like a medium. Kind of weird on sizing, but still nice. The next three uh, baseball jerseys are from Minneapolis as well. It's from I got it from a store called Ragstock. It's kind of like a Valley Village, but kind of like upper class, if that makes any sense. I thought these jerseys are really dope. They're actually uh, Japanese jerseys, baseball jerseys. So this one says M Reds, 30. It's kind of like a Henley shirt kind of style here. It's got that Nara on the side. And uh, number 30 on the back, clean. Next, same kind of style. This is Wakaba. It's like an off white colorway. This is number two on the back. The clean one. This one's probably my favorite one out of the three jerseys just because it has that G. And it's my name, Glenn, obviously. Um. Yeah, number four on the other side, on the uh, right side, and then on the back says, I think that's pronounced CG or something. Yeah, pretty sick pinstripe. Uh, next are the the jerseys. This one here, it's a Minnesota Twins jersey. Me and my girlfriend actually have matching jerseys like this. Uh, yeah, got this in Minneapolis. Next up is, oh, this one's sick, Florida Marlins starter baseball jersey. Super sick. Got the Marlins on that side and got the, like, uh, the the black sleeve starter there. The big uh, Marlins logo, size 48. Super sick. Haven't seen a style like this in a while. Sorry, if I sound kind of tired, I just got off work, so I really wanted to make the video as soon as possible. Next is uh, Georgetown Hoyas starter baseball jersey. like this one a lot. I got a White Sox one like this that my dad had, but I can't seem to find it. But uh, yeah, this one's really sick. I like these script uh, baseball jerseys. Big starter patch there. Georgetown logo there. Starter. Size large. Nothing on the back. This one was super sick when I saw this. It's an infant champion jersey. At first I was like, it's, it's like whatever. Just, but then I looked at the back. Pippin. Super sick. 
Might give this to my little nephew when he grows up. It's such a nice jersey. Okay, next jersey is Grand Hill Detroit Pistons champion, size 44. Super sick. Yep, Hill on the back, 33. Next, I got this in a trade with uh, Sean C. And uh, yeah, you guys should hit up his uh, his channel too. It's uh, it's got some pretty sick pickups too. And this is a Dallas Mavericks Jason Kidd jersey, size 44. Nice condition. Kidd five on the back. Okay, next is 76ers Allen Iverson jersey, Youth XL made by Adidas, stitched, like this jersey, really clean. Okay, and the next jersey is a Los Angeles Lakers Jerry West jersey. It's actually made by uh, Hardwood Classics, size large, got that 61-62 tag there. And West, 44 in the back. Super clean. Love the blue on that. This one is probably my favorite basketball jersey oh, pickup of this one. Super stoked when I saw this. It's uh, another Iverson jersey. Sixers, the old school throwback. Nike, made by Nike, size large. This jersey is mint. Super sick jersey. Iverson on the back. So sick. This one, uh, my dad actually bought this one. I wish this was my size. It's a uh, Chris Webber Sack Kings, made by Nike, size XL. Clean, clean colorway. Four Webber on the back. Nice. Okay, so for this one, so stoked when I saw this jacket. I'm really a sucker for these wind old school windbreakers and stuff. And when I saw this, I just I lost my mind here. It's starter jacket, Team USA Olympic jacket. Oh, I can't even put into words how nice this this jacket is in real up in person. It's just ridiculous. Like, oh, it's got the U.S. flags all there. It's got two big USA patches on each uh, sleeve. And you gotta have that starter tag or starter patch on the left uh, on the left arm. Starter there, and uh, you got the starter zipper thing there. Got the hood. Got that. In the back of the hood is actually a starter tag there. You, know, you can see that. Nothing on the back. Still, super nice jacket. And yeah, let's get to the hats. Now, before I get to the hats, uh, trying to sell this hat or trade this hat or whatever. It's a uh, purple Supreme hat. Uh, I forgot what season this is from, but it's a fitted. It's purple. I, I don't know if you can see, but it is purple. It's got World Famous on the back and the box logo there. I would keep this if it fit me. It's seven and three eighths. If uh, anyone wants to buy this, sell for forty dollars, or trade me for snapbacks, or whatever. It's a really clean hat, and if you know anything about Supreme, you already know the deal with these. Anyways, let's get the snapbacks. First snapback, I gotta go quick because uh, don't want to waste too much time. Just a plain M snapback. Don't know if it's a team hat, but I like it. Yellow M with the white outlining, green underbrim. Made by, I think it's AJD. Clean. This one, uh, Sicko actually saw this when he was in Minneapolis too, but didn't uh, didn't get it. But I just bought it anyways. It's a Florida State Seminoles snapback, red with yellow brim. This is made by. Uh, doesn't really say who it's made by. Pretty simple hat. Next. Uh, Carolina Mudcats snapback. If anyone knows anything about baseball, this is a minor league team. 
it's made by Vintage New Era. You see, nice black base, red snap, gray under. I like that one. Next is a uh, Wayne Gretzky Los Angeles Kings snapback. Gretzky 99, little Kings logo there, and his signature. I've been trying to look for uh, his jersey, but uh, they're really expensive at the store that I see him at. Then you got the NHLPA, and it's made by AJD. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Next, Utah Jazz starter snapback. Shout out to Professor Snap. He probably has this hat. Wouldn't doubt it. Green underbrim. Starter tag right there. Yep. Next, this is probably one of my most underrated snapbacks, or underrated snapbacks in general. It's the St. Louis Cardinals snapback. Super nice. Really clean. All red. Made by sports specialties. I haven't seen any sports specialty ones or any that isn't a mesh back. So I was really stoked to find this for a really good deal on eBay. I like that one. Next, we're... Uh, Gonna come to the heat snapbacks here. It's uh Winnipeg Blue Bomber snapback, the old school logo, all blue. Made by Headline Headwear. So sick. Wish I had this hat when I watched the game. Oh well. Next, only Winnipeg heads would know this. It's a Winnipeg 1999 Pan Am game snapback. If uh, no one knows what the Pan Am Games is, it's kind of like a little mini version of the Olympics. We still have like teams from across the country go here, but it's not as big. But I remember when they uh, when they came to town and had a bunch of athletes from all over the world at like Polo Park shopping and stuff. So it has sentimental value. Next, this one's super sick. Chicago Bulls like leather tumbled leather snapback. It's got the brownish black leather here. Bulls there, NBA on the side. With the red brim, leather brim with the black under. Uh, if you know, if you know, if any of you guys know who Don C is, he ha he's the one that made those snakeskin uh, snapbacks famous, and he actually has this hat. He used this hat as uh, one of his kind of prototypes. And I actually saw one of these on eBay go for like 150 bucks, so super sick. Next. Or sorry, Manitoba Moose leather uh, snapback, sports specialties, dope. Got a, we're almost running out of time. And then I, I got another Man Manitoba Moose snapback, and with tags, brand new, IHL there, CCM tag, and it's actually made by Number One Apparel. And the dope thing about this hat is it's all suede, super sick. CCM tag there. Next, Arizona Cardinals Shark 2 snapback. Shout out to Christy Fool. Give a good, gave a really good deal on this. Really like this. It's first, it's my first Shark Tooth, if that's hard to believe, but I really like this one. With the tags, logo athletic. Yep. Next, uh, I know Sicko has this hat, and I was super stoked when I found this one. Winnipeg Blue Bombers Tri Power Starter Snapback. Pretty much brand new when I saw this. You already know the deal with these. Start on the back, big CFL helmet thing there on the, the left side. Yep. Getting the heat. This one is from my other video. It's an Atlanta Bra the Atlanta Braves starter hat. Except I put a patch, the big uh, Braves patch there. Thought it was pretty sick. And this one, this one's fucking ridiculous. It's an Ottawa Rough Riders football starter snapback. Crazy, Rough Riders logo there on the back. Start on the on the back. Green underbrim. I'm still restoring this hat. If any of you know any CFL, 
you should know that this team does not exist anymore. It's the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, so this hat is pretty rare. And I know uh, SR Person Vintage would like this hat a lot. So, yeah, super sick. Shit, I actually uh, forgot to put two snapbacks, which are the ones that I just picked up today. Uh, sorry, I forgot about it. It was in my bag. I just saw it on top of it. Um, it's a uh, Minnesota Gophers snapback. Shout out to Iceman289. I know he just uh, he just moved out there for college, and uh, I know he'd probably like this hat too. And uh, yeah, thanks for the. He also subscribed to me, and I uh, actually appreciate that a lot. I have him on Instagram as well, and uh, yeah, he's got some sick pickups. You are, you should already know who that guy is. And next, uh, this is the hat I was talking to you about that sicko wanted, but my brother ended up, ended up getting it. Toronto Blue Jays. World Series champs, 92 to 93. Brand new with tags. Made by Starter. I just got this, so it's a little, looks a little beat up. It's got the back to back there. Start of the classic there. And yeah, that's now that's it for the snaps. Sorry about that. My uh, I, my memory card actually ran out of memory. So yeah, here's the shoes. First up is these. Uh, Nike Air Costins. These are one of the comfiest shoes I've had. I have in my collection right now. Just a plain black and white. Simple. Got those in mini. Next two. Crazy Nike Air Cord Force high top shoes, sneakers, whatever. This reminds me of like Fresh Prince Bel Air style right here. This is super sick. Love this shoe. Had to restore it. But as you can tell, they're pretty beat. But I had to pick them up regardless. Next, these Converse super old school vintage basketball shoes. They kind of remind me of skate shoes, like those DC shoes, but these are super comfy. Had to pick these up for sure. And yeah, that's that's it for the, uh, the pickups. Uh, again, I want to make a quick shout out to Winnipeg Sneakerheads, uh, you guys have some crazy collections. Uh, Hype Beast, shout out to the Hype Beast fam. The forums, I've been a, an OG member since 2006, so I want to shout you guys out because I know some of you guys watch my videos. So uh, yeah, just keep a lookout for the uh, the giveaway video. Uh, and yeah, there's more heat to come.